Hello everybody and welcome back with CAC and today we're playing Baldur's Gate 3. Okay, so first things first, I apologise if there's any noise in the background. I currently have my fan on because it is really hot in here and I am dying. So uh, apologies if you can hear that. Uh, so second of all, I know I'm very late for Baldur's Gate 3, um, mainly because I wasn't able to get it for a little while and then when I was able to get it, um, my internet went down, so I wasn't able to do anything with my internet at all for like a week, week and a half. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of late to this, and to be honest, I'm not too sure how much of this I'm going to be doing. Um, it's more the game that I'd rather play by myself in my own time, but I figured um, I'd put up some videos for it, at least as a thank you. Um, because I wasn't able to get this myself, I was uh, basically sent this by a friend. Uh, thank you to you for that, because uh, that, that, yeah, it's, that, 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 that's a lot, that, that's a lot. But um, to be honest, I've seen so much of this online, so much about the characters, so much about the plot points, so much about the dialogue, that the more I see of it, the more I'm kind of like, well, I'm not as hyped as, hyped as I used to be anymore, because it's like, I was I was really hyped for playing it, but I've been so oversaturated with, while I've been unable to play it that it's just felt it's kind of killed my buzz for it. Really, not completely. I'm still going to play it, but it's just I don't feel as enthusiastic as I did when it first came out, and that's probably just due due to the fact that I'm getting to it so late. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I played Baldur's Gate one and two when I was young, like about I don't know, twelve, thirteen, something like that. Uh, w one of my favourite games at the time, two of my favourite games at the time, um, but I think it's probably evolved quite a bit since then. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get into it and see what this one is about. Um, I'm gonna go for balanced. I do prefer uh, narrative and storytelling in my TTRPGs when I play them like a tabletop IRL. But um, I want to experience kind of like the full breadth of what the game has to offer. I don't like going full combat murder hobo, that's just no fun. <coughs> okay. Alright, we've got illithids. Lovely, lovely. Always love dealing with illithids. Um, I remember there was an illithid plotline in Baldur's Gate 2. Uh, when you went into the Underdark, I think you had to go through an illicit hive to escape. Don't know if this is related to that in any way, or whether it's a completely different thing, but... Uh, oh, oh! I just love how squishy and organic all the illicit stuff is. It's delightful, isn't it? Okay, so we have a gith. Not sure which kind of gith, but... Probably... Probably Gith Yankee because they both live in the Astral Sea, right? Ugh. How squishy. Delightful. Ooh, tadpoles. Ooh. Well, this isn't going to end well for anyone. Is that me looking through through my eyes there? Ugh. Lovely. Ugh, I hate it. <laughs> this is um this is pretty much how my current spelljammer campaign started. Uh, for the rest of my party at least, I showed up late. <laughs> Hello. Ugh. Nice! Nice, so are we starting this game like already infected? Oh. <coughs> Who are you? That's a good question. Right. Um, I'm not going to play uh, an origin. Um, I'm going to make my own. Uh, but who to go with? Because I have a lot of D&D characters and to be honest, most of them I wouldn't be able to create here because they're some of the more expanded races um, like they have tiefling here but they don't have ASMR that's that's just racism 
why don't you include the ASMR in your stuff? Um, okay. I mean, you could say, oh, they're just including all the core stuff, but Gith Yankee isn't core. And why isn't there Gith Zerai? Um, I think I'll probably create Jinx, because he was like my original D&D character, the first one I ever got to play, and the one that kind of got me back into interest in D&D. But I know that they're not going to be able to let me actually create him, because they only use 5th and 4th Ed Tieflings anymore. 2nd and 3rd Ed Tieflings are vastly superior, because they're more chaotic and they're not as generic and they're not just Asmodian like all the current ones are but I'll go for it anyway Tieflings descending from the Devils of the Nine Hells there again the modern ones are only devils whereas in uh, second and third ed they could be devils demons or daemons so yeah anyway let's go for it uh, body type Oh, I like that they have body type rather than just uh, straight up gender or sex or what have you. What? No, wait, wait. <laughs> so what have we got? We've got dark vision. That's hellish resistance. What about hellish rebuke? Huh, okay. And then we have... Oh, big, big. Okay, now Jinx is not a big boy. Jinx is a small. He has a small. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Barbarian. No, I don't want to be. <coughs> Asmodeus Typhling. Oh! Oh, okay. So they do have Typhling sub -re Oh. But you only have Mephistopheles or Zariel. Again, what about... What about the Tanari? What about the Yugoloths? <laughs> um, what have we got? So we've got Produce, Flame, Cantrip. Uh, Mephistopheles... As Mage Hand and Zariel as Farmatoki. Hmm. That's interesting. Because all the core tieflings, tieflings are the ones that have Tharmaturgy, and all the core tieflings are the ones that are descended from Asmodeus. So they've they've changed things around a bit. Also, would Zariel produce tieflings considering she's a fallen angel? as opposed to an actual full-on devil. Interesting. But, uh... Hmm. None of... Again, none of these are Jinx. Jinx is um, what was called a plain-touched tiefling, which is something that randomly occurs when their parents are exposed to too much um, fiend, basically. They could have never, ever interacted with a tiefling or a fiend in their life, but if they used, like, fiendish magic, or if they travelled through one of the lower planes, then they could be tainted enough to produce a tiefling later on. This is me just rambling, sorry. I, I feel very passionate about tieflings, and I'm very disappointed about what 4th and 5th Ed has done to them. But I think I'll take Mephistopheles. Uh, he has a bard. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, okay, so spells. Oh boy. I wonder what spellcasting is going to be like in this game, if it's any more interesting than the original two Baldur's Gates. This is. Uh, okay, um, choose my cantrips. Vicious Mockery was definitely one. Uh, and I think. Dancing Lights... No, it wasn't Dancing Lights, it was Hypnotic Pattern. So what was the other one he had? Uh, let's go with Friends. He's, he's a charmer, he's a schmoozer. So Friends would be a good one uh, to go for. Uh, spells, let's see. Dissonant Whispers was one. Tasha's Hideous Laughter was another. Let's get rid of these two for now, just because... a good spell but it's one of those that I can never figure out how to actually make work in uh, a campaign 
Um, hmm. I think I'll take the cure wounds. Um, it'd be interesting to see how they do like spell limitations and things like that. And uh, I will take sleep. I'll give it a go. Starting instrument. Oh, he's a loot man. There we go. <coughs> nice. Uh, background acolyte. No, he was a charlatan. There we go. He had a false identity and everything. Uh, his false identity was a uh, magic items salesman called Reg Reginald Fairfield. <laughs> Um, so what else have we got here? We've got, uh, appearance. Ah, edit appearance, there it is. So I was looking over here where it says randomize appearance, and I was like, where is it? Um, okay. I'll take one from Constitution. Uh, and... Let's take a look at his uh, expertise. Uh, skills. Uh, not expertise, proficiencies. I'll get expertise later, I'm sure, as a bard. Uh, not intimidation. He wasn't so much into intimidation. But uh, history. Actually, wait, no, I think acrobatics first as part of, like, a uh, performance-type deal. I'm sure he picked up history later, but... Again, I'm, I'm just talking about my character in D&D. &D. I don't know what he's going to get up to in this game, but... Uh, let's see. He, he is non-binary. He's, he's an all-pronouns kind of guy, but I always, always end up calling him he, because he usually presents masculine. Um, right. Where to next? Hmm. What was that? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells. Something just woke up to- Be wary. This- It's opened. Okay. More of those wretched things. <laughs> There's magic keeping this chest sick. Where to next? Okay, I, ju I just think the, the default one sounds more like him. Um, that face is probably the best one for him, to be honest. You know, the others all seem a little too, a little too, on the masculine side. But, uh, was that the one I started with? I don't remember. Hmm. Uh, I don't... It looked like it was. Anyway, uh, skin colour. Let's see. Hmm. No, the, the, the sort of default colours you get for them aren't that great, but at least you do have an all skin colour option. Yeah, he's he's more on the, uh, the goldish side. It's a little too orange, but it's probably the best one I'm going to get for him. Alright, that's fine. Uh, no scars. Uh, no maturity. <laughs> he's, he's an immature little, little creep. Um, freckles? Hello? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be seeing there. I think it might just be a matter of my uh, graphics not being set up for it. One second, is there a... can I... There we go. 
Yeah, I just had to change my graphics up a bit. Even in the... I can't really see them. Anyway, he doesn't He doesn't have um, freckles anyway, so... Vitiligo, that's a nice little touch. Oh, neat. But no, he doesn't have that either. Um, <clears throat> just being curious with things now. Uh, he doesn't have any body art. Um, piercings. Oh, oh wait, wait. He, there we go. I thought that was just his hair clipping into his face, but... <laughs> right, um... Ooh. Oh, they're nice. Oh, no, no facial stuff. He would just have regular earrings. If he had... Oh, I like those. Yeah, they're nice. Uh, eyes... He has sort of an orangey... There we are. Hmm. It's a shame you can't uh, change the pupils. Um, Jinx has cat's eyes. But, uh, other than that... Hmm. It's, uh, this one. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. That's my boy. Um... Hmm. Ooh. That's a bit not quite what I'm going for there. Uh, oh, that's nice. No, I like the I like the red tint. That's good. I like that. Um, I don't know whether I mentioned it previously. I've forgotten, but I was just going to make this first episode just like the character creation because I know it it'll take a long time because I get very much. Um, sort of bogged down with character creation into sort of like nitty gritty kind of stuff. There we go. Have his uh, lip colour kind of match the rest of his skin. It doesn't really vary too much. Um, right, hair. He has long, quite poofy hair. No, it's not quite poofy enough. I bet this... Mm, no, too too scraggly. I bet this... No, too pompous. That's going to be even more pompous, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Suits his horns all, though. Uh, that one's okay. No. Ah, oh, it's too frizzy. Also too frizzy. Uh, a bit too short. <laughs> Not floofy enough. <laughs> this is the difficult part, coming up with... say earlier was good. Yeah, I think... I think I'll go with that one. Right. So if I get that kind of base, and sort of like that, the highlights, maybe? Whee! Oh, there we go. There's my boy. <laughs> No graying. He's a young boy. A young fella. A young... <laughs> yes. Uh, no facial hair. Horns. Okay. Do we have some... We don't have any that come out from the temples, so... I'll give you the same as him. Uh, there we go. That That's close enough. That'll do. And his horns are brown. Make them... There we go. 
Close enough. Yeah, he doesn't look too bad. Okay, so this is just going to be Jinx. He doesn't have a surname, never had one, never needed one. Ah, oh, if only I could change the colour of his tail. But, never mind. You need a guardian. Choose one. Ooh. Oh, I get a, I get a buddy, do I? Uh, who should I create to go with Jinx? Uh, I could create Alwyn. No, um... Wait, why can't I have a Dragonborn? Huh. Just have an, a half elf. No, oh, wait. Uh, let's have a drow. Let's be interesting. <laughs> um. Mm. Why are drow separate from elf? Okay. Wolf, swan, drow, and uh, seldar. Let's have a seldarin drow. I don't think. I don't think the. Uh, well, I noticed that there wasn't an, ali an alignment system, so I guess it's not so much, like, good or evil, but just, like, what you do. So, yeah, that's, uh, interesting. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so we have a female drow. Let me zoom in on... Oh, there we go, so I can actually see the face. There we go. I don't know, this one makes me think of a librarian. <laughs> I like it. Uh, <clears throat> Just wondering what the drow are limited to. That, that, that seems about right for a drow. I like the more blue, sort of tinted ones. Oh yeah, I'll take that. Scars. Yeah, sort of like a, si a nice simple um, facial eye scar. Let's make her midway mature. Oh, now that's an interesting look on a drow. But, uh, okay, body art. <laughs> Squid election. Um, there we go. Always kind of like the uh, idea of white tattoos on drow. Something more moon like. Now that'll do. Oh, little, little raven skulls. Well, but yeah. White, yeah, that, that would be fine. 
put that on top. Oh, actually, yeah, that's quite nice. Mm, I'm torn now. This, this, this is where it, they all get like bogged down on everything. About how. Uh, Oh, oh, there we go, yes. Sorry, cast the character customization is totally my bane because I will get I will get dragged down into it for, for hours. Sailor Moon. <laughs> oh there we go. There's my librarian. <laughs> I like that, I like that, that's nice. Uh, Alright, come to think of it, I didn't look at the body types, did I? I mean, I'll probably stick with that one now that I've started, but... Oh, hello. <laughs> oh. The hair changed. Yeah, no, I, I've created my librarian now, so I'm going to have her. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> okay, so yeah, um, like I said, the first episode here is just going to be like the character creation kind of thing, so uh, next time I'm actually going to jump into the adventure and um, get things going. So I'm not going to drag this out for too long, um, just say thank you for joining me um, and I hope you'll stick around. Again, I don't know how many episodes of this I'm going to do, uh, but we will see. So. Until then, I'm going to leave it here, and I'll see you in the next one. So, bye-bye.